Today we're replacing the power supply for a Dell 380 Low Pro. A uh, very common chassis top style, similar to the 745, the 760, and the 780. Like to first take off the lid. The easiest thing to take off the lid is pushing the lash backwards and helps lit, raise the lid up. Uh, for the tools for the job, I like to use a Phillips screwdriver with a magnetic tip to help secure the screws so you won't lose them. Uh, the first thing I like to do is go ahead and take off the screws that connect the power supply to the chassis. Get those out the way so it's easy to take off the power supply later. First and foremost, I like to go ahead and uh, make sure I get all the items out the way uh, of the power supply so when I'm taking the power supply out, they won't get damaged and all the connectors that the power supply are connected to. First off, I like to take out the CD-ROM and disconnect the power and data cable. Take out the hard drive by squeezing the blue tabs on either side and pushing it backwards. But also disconnecting the power and the data cable. Disconnect the auxiliary cable by pushing in the white tab. Same as the power, the main power connector. And at the bottom, in front of the power supply, you see the little metal tab that helps locks it in place. Just push that down. And push the power supply forward. There you go. Put it off to the side. Grab the new model, make sure it's a similar uh, model number or Dell part number. Place it back in the same spot. Make sure it's level push back so you hear a click where it locks in. Proceed to connect the main power cable and then the auxiliary power cable. Next item is the hard drive. Make sure you connect everything back the exact same way it was beforehand. First the data, then the power. Next CD-ROM, first the data, then the power. Then go ahead and flip the machine back around. Either way, I'm, just, I'm standing up, so i put the machine up, but you can do it either, either way. I'm laying down on the spot. Go ahead and screw the screw, screws back in, secure the power supply in place. Then put the lid back on.